Hello everyone, this is Soala. Today I'm going to talk about Post Perfect. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to form and when to use the Post Perfect. So let's start. First, it's good to know that in English there is regular and irregular verb. Now, how we form the Post Perfect? We put the auxiliary verb to have, but now in the past, so it become had plus Post Participle, which is verb plus ed. Example, I had kissed her. You had walked there. He had cleared the table. We had walked to school. They had marked the test. Now we need to pay extra attention to verb ending in an E, like leave, close, or wipe. We add D to the basic form of the verb. Example, I had lived there. He had closed the window. They had wiped the floor. But in the verb ending in Y, especially those preceded by a consonant, Y become I. Spy, study. Example, he spied on his neighbors. He had studied hard. Now let's have a look about the irregular verb. Have plus past participle. Past participle has a unique past perfect form. Example, <laughs> I had built that shed with my own two hands. The infinitive form is to build. She had bought some flowers at the market. The infinitive form is to pay. We had run the marathon. The, infinit the infinitive form is to run. Now, in the question, how we make a question in the, in the past perfect. First, had plus past participle. <laughs> the example, had she talked to him? Had you kicked the ball? Had they worked on had had they worked on a farm? In the irregular verb had plus past participle. Had she quiet her job yet? The infinitive form is to quiet. Had you driven a car? The infinitive form is to drive. Had they paid for dinner? The infinitive form is to pay. We're talking about the affirmative, the negative, and the question with regular and irregular verbs. But how about the uses? We have two uses we should focus on. The first one is the present simple expresses an activity that was completed before another activity or time in the past. Okay, Sam had already left by the time Anne got there. The first activity is Sam had already left. The second one, I ain't got there. The second use, if either before or after is used in the, pres uh, in the past perfect, is often not necessary because the time relationship is already clear. The simple past may be used, may be used as in these examples. The first one, Sam left before and got there. The second one, after the guests had left, I went to bed. This is the end of the lesson. I hope you studied well. See you soon in the next lesson.